What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome to Marvel's Avengers. And this was the game back when it was announced at E3 and then delayed and everything like that. I, I, I was kind of had high hopes for it because, you know, it's that RPG style game. But then I just kind of, you know, wasn't really sure what to expect. I didn't play the beta. Uh, so I kind of, went, kind of when I started playing the game today, I guess I kind of went in with an open mind, you know, just kind of seeing what happens when I play the game. And I really have been enjoying my experience so far. Of course, this is going to be my first impressions of, you know, kind of the story. That's about as far as I've got it, you know, kind of into it so far. It's just story mode. But so far, the story mode has been very enjoyable. Um, the combat, I would say, is pretty good in my opinion as well. It does feel a bit clunky at times. It kind of has that issue, like a lot of games. Even the issue I had with Ghost of Tsushima. I feel like the camera angles get kind of odd sometimes when you're fighting. And I feel a little bit, you know, like it's a little bit off at times. But for the most part, I really do enjoy the combat and all the different abilities and things the characters have to offer or the heroes have to offer. But like I said, so far, the story part that I've been playing is very, very enjoyable. Uh, the one thing that's really neat also, or a very nice feature, I guess, is if you're playing the game, of course, I'm playing here on PS4, there is no real loading screens um, unless you die. If your character dies, now there will be a loading screen. But besides that, the game is just very fluid. You know, it just goes from scene to scene. It's really, really nice. Um, of course, after you beat the solo part of the game, and I'm not sure how long the story is going to take me to beat, you know, I've heard like 15 hours. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how long the story mode is, but there is also a co-op mode. So you can play with your friends or, you know, you can match make that kind of thing, which does seem very interesting because this game is designed like an RPG. Of course, as you can see, the enemies here that I'm fighting kind of a number over their heads. So, you know, it's kind of a thing you can think of like, uh, Destiny, for example, or the Elder Scrolls Online, where you're fighting enemies that are, you know, certain levels, and of course, you know, you're going up against them and collecting gear and, you know, upgrading skills and things like that. And that is the one thing that is pretty cool. Now, the gear in the game does not change your appearance of your character, but you know, it does is give you some upgrades to be stronger, have more power, that kind of thing. So when you're going into this, don't really think of it as just kind of an action game, but think of it as a RPG style game where you're kind of grinding out gear, finding new gear sets, that kind of thing. It is a very unique idea uh, for a game like that, just kind of with superheroes thrown into it from the Avengers world. Um, of course, there's going to be a lot of things coming out for the game in the future. I'm looking forward to getting into the co-op, but I, you know, I'm going to go ahead and you know, beat the story and do all that kind of stuff before I get into the co-op and really do a video on that. But of course, we know that there's things besides just co-op, there's going to be new heroes coming in the future. Also, some, also some new things added to the game you know, weekly. I'm uh, going to kind of be excited to see exactly what they're going to do with that. And it looks like it's going to be a game that's going to be supported for a while, as long as it has the player base. This could be a game that could be out for years with this kind of RPG idea behind it. Um, and the last thing I kind of want to talk about is the different skill trees that a lot of these heroes have. They are very in-depth. I know that might be a question from some people. Uh, the skill trees you have from each play, uh, for each hero is very in-depth. And I feel like you can have some have several different play styles depending on what abilities and skills you decide to use, you can set up a lot of different play styles with these characters. So it looks like it's going to be fun to build, you know, different kind of armor sets, different kind of gear sets, and kind of tie them in with all the different skills the game has to offer for each individual hero. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Have you played Marvel's Avengers yet? Are you, or did you really get the early edition like I did? That way you could play a few days early. Or are you waiting, of course, for a few more days until it is released for everyone? Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, GT Racing, the community Discord, and my Twitter. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.